So the first thing we're going to do today is uh, start to look at um, patterning logic. And, um, and then we're going to apply that to how we might actually use it in an architectural setting. So um, what I'd like you to do is start off by dropping in a set of points, um, very similar to what I showed you in the uh, first exercises that we did. So let's go to vector, and let's go to point, and let's do construct point. All right, so um, we're gonna create just kind of like a, a short line, um, something like 10 different points would be fine. So everything set to zero is fine, but uh, we're gonna have to create a set of numbers that's going to create a set of points. So let's go to set and sequence, and we'll do a series. Um, and then let's go into params and we'll drop in a panel because we know it's just going to be static numbers. So um, we'll do that. And it's fine to start with zero. So that's going to be our start number. And then um, the step size, we can just make it one. And then the count. Let's make it 10. So um, it doesn't matter to me right now which uh, axis you pick. It's all going to kind of act the same way. So I'm just going to put it in x. And so we've got 10 points along the x-axis. And flip your Brazilian steakhouse flag when you're ready to go. I'm just going to pause for a moment while uh, you all catch up. All right, moving on. Um, so what we're looking at is, um, or actually, I might actually increase the number of steps um, or the number or the size of the step. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's switch it to two. Um, so what we're looking at is basically a set of points that we can use as base points to create a pattern. Um, um, so. Uh, Let's go to curve, and let's go to primitive, and uh, let's drop in the polygon. So what you're seeing here is um, the polygon base plane, uh, or, or rather, the polygon is asking you for the base plane. It's also asking you for uh, the radius and how many um, segments there are. So we can um, plug this in to uh, points and it would apply it to all of those points but we're going to kind of start there and then we're going to modify it so that we have sort of a, a patterning logic um, but in that regard we have the radius which i want to be able to adjust so i'm going to use a slider for that one um, let's go to zero to 2.00 that allows me to have um, two places to um, it allows me to have a decimal point up to two places. <clears throat> and then if you want, we could do um, a slider for the number of segments. So let's say 0 to 8. Well, 0 is not really going to do anything. That's going to be an error, but 1 to 8, or 2 to 8, actually, or 3 to 8, actually. So, yeah, I'll just leave it as a square for now. And don't worry about the fillet radius because we're just doing this as a testing sequence uh, for now. So. This is curve primitive. Okay. Uh, radius, I did 0 to 2.0. Or 2.00. It doesn't have to match mine perfectly. Um, so uh, I'll kind of generally let you know when something is critical, but like this kind of stuff, as long as you know what you set your um, step size to, you can get. Because I wanted it so that it would be a maximum of a step size. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to get us to a point where we understand our two polygons that we're going to be working with, and then um, we're going to start, and I'll, I'll get us to a point where we just start to, um, you know, blend the two with a um, pattern the, the at some point. The segments was what was the, the range? Uh, I did. It actually should be um, three to. I did eight. Oh, whoops. My bad. Three less than eight. There we go. All right. So um, really all we're going to do is just make a copy of this, and then this will get us kind of set up. So we've got um, one polygon that has four sides, and we'll do another one that has six sides. And the problem is that when you plug them both in like this on two separate sides, then you get duplicate forms, right? But we want it to actually switch between those forms. So um, we're going to take a look at a tool in just a second um, that will allow us to do that. So um, just hang tight, and then we'll keep moving.